Welcome back everyone to the LibGDX development tutorials. In today's video we'll be discussing 3D basics. Let's get started. There are two ways of rendering in LibGDX. One is using OpenGL, the second is using LibGDX pre-built methods. Calling from OpenGL allows more customization when it comes to building your application, but it does require a basic knowledge and it can be a little bit more complicated for beginners. Using LibGDX pre-built methods can make it much easier to understand how to render 3D objects, but you will also have less control when it comes to building your application though. In order for us to start rendering, we need something called a perspective camera. Now, if you want to learn more about it, here's a video right here. Now, we need to get into a model. What is a model? A model contains data from materials. It's something where you collect vertices that position points in 3D space and you render it to the screen. Second, we need a material. A material is what is focused on how the model should be rendered. For instance, you apply material, such as a color or texture, to your model in order for it to render correctly to the way how you want it. Now, we need something called an attribute. An attribute is a piece of information that is given towards the model. Now, there are three types that we are going to be talking about in this video. Texture, position, and normal. Lastly, we need something called a model instance. A model instance is referenced towards a model. It is a better way for rendering instead of creating model objects over again. So here's what we're going to do. So we're going to go to our tutorial game. We're going to click new Java class. We'll call this cube because we're going to be making a 3D cube. And then we're going to extend the application adapter. And then first we're going to define some fields. So we're going to do private model. We'll call this just model. And then we'll do private model builder which is going to build the model and then we're going to do private model instance which is the instance that we just discussed and then we're going to do private model batch which is going to be the batch that's going to render it and then we're going to do private texture which is the texture that we're going to apply to it and then we're going to do private camera and then we want some way to control that camera we're going to do first person controller camera controller controller we want to initialize or create a create method and then we want to initialize the camera so we do camera equals new perspective camera we're going to give the fov 70 we're going to do gdx dot graphics dot get width so we can resize the viewport to the correct screen size and then we can do height and then we're going to do camera dot position dot set we're going to set it at the origin 0 0 0 and then we're going to do camera dot near which is going to be the near plane and then we're going to do camera dot far which is the far plane how far you can see in your 3d world so we're going to set it to a thousand because we want to be able to see really far and then we're going to do camera dot update and now we're going to initialize our first person camera controller we're going to do controller equals new first person camera controller and then we're going to pass in our camera. Then we're going to set the input processor using gdx.input.setInputProcessor and pass in the controller. And then we're going to call controller.update to update the input processor. And then we're going to initialize our texture. So we do texture equals new texture. And then we're going to use our utils method, internal path. And then we're going to copy our texture we're going to use the block texture and then after that we're going to initialize our model builder so we can be able to build our cube model builder equals new model builder and i will have a link in the description for the github repository of this class for those who want to learn more about it and then we'll do model equals to model builder dot create box but as you can see there's a lot of methods here again i recommend to you the play around with this class there's a lot of useful things here so we're going to use a create box we're going to set our box to 16 by 16 by 16 units and then before we add the last two parameters we're going to have to create two things it is the material material equals new material and then in here this is where we're going to pass in our texture attribute so libgx does apply a lot of different attributes and i will have a description to that page so we have attribute dot create diffuse well first actually we have to initialize our attribute actually 
create new attribute and then we do attribute that create diffuse and then we pass in our text in here and then after that we want to create our attribute so we're going to use a long we'll call this our bit mask attribute because it is using a bit mask and then we're going to do usage dot position and then we're going to do usage dot texture attribute to add the texture so we have attribute zero and then we have attribute one so when we add the bit mask attribute we are setting the position which is the model that we are creating from the create box and then we have the material which is the texture which is the information that's going to be holding and then the normal is for lighting those for extra vertices if you would like to have some so first we're going to pass in our bit mass attribute all right then after that we're going to create our model instance so we're going to go from here which just says instance we do instance equals new model instance pass in our model all right after that we're going to initialize our model batch so we're going to do batch equals new model batch and also you can provide custom shaders in the parameter as you can see if we go up here there's an object called shader provider and a directory for file handle for the vertex and fragment shaders but for us we're going to be using the default to the resize method so we can resize our viewport correctly so we're going to do camera dot width equals to width and then we're going to do camera dot height equals to height and then we're going to do camera dot update to apply the settings and then we're going to do controller dot update to apply the input controller settings and then in our render method we're going to do some gl make sure you import it i'm going to be importing it as a static import clear now we want to clear the color buffer and then we want to clear the def buffer so that is gl dot gl color buffer bit and that is gl 20 dot gl def buffer bit both of those and then after that, we're going to do gl dot geo clear color. And we're going to set our color. Remember, this is RGBA. So our color is going to be kind of like this gray brown. And then we want to update our input. So we do controller dot update. And then we after that, we want to update the camera. We do camera dot update. And then after that, we're going to do batch dot begin because we want to start rendering and then we pass in our camera which has the matrix transformation from the camera in order to make the 3d viewport appear then we're going to do batch that render and as you can see if we mid a mouse button and click on this we can see that there's quite a few methods with this we have the render provider and then we have the renderable and we can also pass in a custom environment, but we'll get to that later. And then we're going to do batch dot end. And that right there will render our cube. And then after that, we want to dispose of all of our resources. So we're going to do model. You don't use the instance. I mean, you can, but to use the model. Model dot dispose. So this right here will dispose of the model in order for us to... And then... After that, we should have our cube. Now, as you can see, you can see the results. I had to zoom out just a little bit because we kind of set it a little too big in the creation of the cube. Uh, we can set it technically to one unit and that should be able to scale it down to a smaller size. There we go. I will have a link in the description for the GitHub repository. Um, for the tutorial series, I'll try to keep a focus uh, minimum 3D, but mostly 2D, because uh, it seems like you guys really enjoy watching 2D tutorials and for LibGDX. Um, and I'll try to keep it more uh, entertainment for you guys so you guys can learn 
and grab some more knowledge from it. All right, have a good one, everyone.